Jeff, thanks for being with us today. Um, as Philippo put it earlier, he said more questions than answers right now. But just in terms of what we do know and the information we are gleaning from this crash, um, your insights. Well, you know, we oftentimes uh, in an unfortunate situation like this, uh, we tend to gravitate immediately to certain areas. And, you know, so um, from what it appears, uh, there was quite a altitude drop immediate. Uh, so, you know, it can range from catastrophic failure in terms of uh, uh, airframe, um, where the pilot's incapacitated at some, at some point. Uh, so, yeah, there are a lot more questions that are answered. So, uh, you know, what's happening on the ground right now is obviously... Um, you know, searching hopefully for survivors. It doesn't appear, unfortunately, that to be the case. Um, putting out the fires um, and then ultimately finding the black box and the uh, cockpit voice recorder. Until those are found, uh, it's, it's really going to be more questions than answers. In terms of how an investigation into all of this could play out, and I realize that it's a big question mark around, around timing, uh, sure. But what would what would that process look like, particularly in a country like China, um, where I realize this aircraft had a very strong safety record, but Boeing in general has had somewhat of a fraught relationship over the last couple of years due to another member of the 737 family, the MAX. Right. Well, I, I think it's important to note that um, uh, the Chinese aviation industry has come a long, long way uh, in the last uh, couple decades, actually. And so their training uh, is uh, very good, uh, follow the regulations, not uh, legally uh, towards the FAA regulations that we have here in the U.S. But, um, you know, I, I think it's, it's, a, it's a process that uh, at the end of the day, whether it's Chinese aviation, U.S. aviation, airlines, you know, we ultimately want to find out what occurred here. And um, as uh, terrible circumstances as this is, we need to learn from it. So ensuring that there's nothing systemic anywhere in, in the uh, operation of this aircraft uh, is critical to all parties. So there's there's a, um, you know, there's there's a common theme here that we do want to find out the real answers to what occurred with this flight. Point, uh, Jeff, that you're making regarding the progress they've made in civilian aviation. I wonder, would you argue they've made more uh, strides in maintenance and inspection or the sort of softer sciences of, uh, of what we call cockpit resource management? That's understanding the psychology and the teamwork uh, behind pilot work. Yeah, I think all the above. Uh, I think they have had uh, a lot of progress on the maintenance side of the aircraft. My understanding is this aircraft is only six years old. Uh, it is, um, yes, Boeing, but it's very different. It was the uh, predecessor to the MAX. Um, so they've come a long way, not only in the cockpit with CRM, um, but also on the actual operation, uh, operational integrity of the airline itself.